When you guys look back on what you did yesterday, is that sort of what you envisioned this defense looking like? Uh, definitely. I mean, especially when I came in here in this all season, and you start to see everybody that we get and then the talent that they already had here. I mean, we just got to keep putting it together. You know, it's a long season. We just keep putting together, keep building, We're trying to find our rhythm right now. And that's a, a great uh, place last night where we – my bad. That's a great place where we started at uh, yesterday. We keep building, getting better week by week. Uh, I mean, you, you've been around a great pass rusher and, you know, Aaron Donald. Uh, when you see Miles Garrett do what he did yesterday, I, I mean, what, what does that look like for you from field level? Man, pay that man again. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I kept thinking. Pay that man again. Go get him some more money at that point. Uh, that's dominance at, at his finest. And, you know, uh, he make our job easy back there. So, I mean, you know, you got to love when pass rushes get out there like that. The whole D-line was out there. They played together and they did their thing. So, I, I'm excited about that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Dan. We'll go to Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, yeah, Troy, can you talk about how uh, how Greg Newsom has come along and played in these first few games? I know you really uh, spent a lot of time taking him under your wing. And then also, you know, hopefully you guys aren't going to have to be without him uh, for any length of time at all because of this calf injury. But how do you think he's been doing so far? Uh, I'm Greg been balling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's been putting it together every week. And like I say, the whole defense, week by week, we're just trying to keep getting better. I mean, it's a long season, you know, so – uh, he been doing his thing, and as a rookie, you know, he don't really seem like a rookie. He take everything and uh, learn fast, and his technique, put his technique down, and he a fierce competitor. So, I mean, he been doing his thing out there. I'm excited about his journey. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Daryl Ryder has our next question. Hey, Troy, when you see the numbers from yesterday, aside from the nine sacks, one net yard passing, and I think they had 47 net yards of offense. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but you're on the field. Just Could you just feel how much you guys were really dominating uh, that offense yesterday? I think I looked up on the sideline once, and I mean, I'm like, one yard passing? Because you never really like realize, like, during the game, them sacks, they take away from the passing yards. Obviously, we was out there strapping stuff, but, you know, when you look up and you see one-yard pass, I'm like, I ain't never been a part of that in my whole life. So, I mean, that's just the dominance that we was having out there. And uh, like I said, we just got to keep building on it and keep on coming out there week by week and doing our thing. So, I mean, that's that's got to be history if you ask me. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I- nobody ever did that. Yeah, I don't think the Browns have ever done it. Um, I, yeah. You mentioned about building on it. How do you guys carry such a dominating defensive performance forward? Obviously, you're not going to have that type of performance every week, but just the quality of play, how do you guys bring that forward? Practice, start with practice, and then, you know, practice, practice, you know what I'm saying, stay mentally tapped in and uh, having that focus um, just – and the fine details of things that we're doing in the game plan and playing together and keep on building that camaraderie that we that we have. And, I mean, you know, it's going to keep keep coming. And, like, we starting to understand who we are as a team and things like that on the defense. So, I mean, we just got to keep putting it together. It's early in the season. So, I mean, you know, it start with practice. It start with just keep on getting better and conditioning. You know, the first couple games, it's always a little different. So, I mean, you know, we just got to keep building like that, stacking them bricks. Thank you, Daryl. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, Troy, I wanted to ask you about another rookie you got. Um, JOK played more – it seemed like he played more snaps yesterday and was really active around the field. What did you see out of him? For some reason, he always around the ball. That's what I see. He always <laughs> around the ball, always making big plays. And uh, he got high energy out there. I mean, that's another rookie that I'm excited to keep on watching because, I mean, he, like I say, he played with a lot of energy. He loved the game. You see the passion that he got out there, and uh, he's a ball magnet always around that ball like that. So, I mean, he's going to be a special one too. Thank you. Appreciate it, Scott. Nate Ulrich, go ahead. Hey, Troy. Uh you know, we're not sure about Greg yet. Um, Coach A didn't have the update on the MRI, but he got, uh, you know, the calf injury yesterday. So, um, you know, what's your confidence in Greedy Williams? How valuable uh, is the depth that, that Greedy gives you guys if you guys need him more? 
really a starting corner in this league either way. So, I mean, we got we got depth at this position. And y'all seen when he came in there and he stepped up and did his thing. I mean, nah, it ain't no worry if Greedy got to come in. Greedy is starting corner in this league. He's been a starting corner in this league. Ain't nothing new, you know. So, I mean, you know, he's just going to come out there and do his thing and feel in great. I, it ain't really too much worry about it. Thanks, Nate. PJ Ziegler has our next question. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Troy, or, uh, when we talked to uh, Kevin Stefanski uh, yesterday after the game and again today, he mentioned that um, the practice that you guys had this week defensively um, obviously carried over to the game on Sunday. What was different in practice this uh, or last week going into that game? And what did you learn from practice now that you feel you can take with you as you continue to build these game plans for opponents week after week? Um, I, I'll probably say thinking back the energy, maybe just the energy that we had at practice and just the will. And I feel like everybody kind of know like what we all capable of and, and just, yo, we not really put it all together. So, I mean, the energy that we had at practice and the coaches being on us over and over about the little things like we see it on tape that we'd be like, one little mistake away from making big plays and things like that and hold teams from, you know, like not scoring or getting the first down on third downs. And and I felt like that kind of like that mentality that those coaches put in us that week and just like when you see it over and over on film and it's like, all right, it's going to happen eventually. So the energy that kind of like and that focus, that kind of helped us out a lot. Thank you. Thank you, PJ. Let's go back to Scott Patrick. Hey, Troy, did you feel Joe Woods was a lot more aggressive in how he called the game yesterday than in the first two weeks? Uh, I think it was all kind of the same, you know. Like, uh, I think, to be honest, it was uh, a lot of four-man rushes getting home and individual players making big plays, too, along with the calls that was going on. I don't really feel like it was anything different than what i really seen in the first couple of games. We kind of stayed with the same stuff that we've been doing. It was kind of a little more simpler, if you ask me. Yeah. And what about Jadavin? Did you know Jadavin very well before you guys teamed up this year? And what's he shown you through these first couple of games? A dog. uh, Exactly what, you know what I'm saying, advertised to be. I ain't really know him before. I mean, you know, you hear about players like that or that caliber. But, uh, you know, he's as good as advertised in my eyes. 